pulling us out of that black hole immediately. The Don Callis family showcase. Will Ospreay versus Konosuke Takeshita submit a match of the year candidate. My best match of the year right here. Same. Um, above five stars. We already know where this is going. Um, <clears throat> I saw this match and it was like, yo, I think I've always said these two. Yeah, like this is going to be the new Okada Omega. Like these two. And what a hell of a start to, to that. <laughs> like they were doing shit in this match. To, to where I was just completely forgetting, like, like yeah, man, usually when I watch wrestling, I'm chilling, you know, I'm seeing seeing stuff, you know, I, I know the big moves, I know the spots that are coming typically, you know, I know, you know, oh, there's going to be a cool kick out here or something like that. They had me out the chair, like, wondering what the fuck is happening. Like, re- that reversal off from the Oz cutter into the Blue Thunder Bomb, I was like, Huh? And you know what really got me? Like, people were sending up these gifts and shit, and they're doing the be- the, the bullshit right about not selling and uh, fuck off. Shit. Look, Jesus Christ! Uh, Have you never watched a real fight when people absorb <laughs> uh, like ridiculous contact? When Takeshita took that that shot and he went on the ground like it and sold the fingers, I was like, oh my god! They they worked me completely. I was like, really. I've never oh. seen anybody sell like this. And I was like, this is incredible. Like I, and I was like, yo, we're, we're in another galaxy right here. And, um, the, the hard striking, the, the precision of all the moves, the explosion, the athleticism, the fucking aura of like Takeshita walking in, Osprey walking in with this, with the fucking robe on the new gear, the crowd reacting to him like a motherfucking superstar. Mm-hmm. Um, th- I, bro, this is so, one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, this is one of the best matches um you'll ever get to see. So, I'm I'm looking at the chat and Zach, Zach here said the Tua fingers. You remember when Tua was seized up on the ground like two years ago? He's yeah, those same hands. Uh, I saw it and I was like, it's a work, but either way, it, it got some people. So. Oh. That was for crazy. me. I so um, I'm watching it, and uh, it was just so fun. It was just so fun, and like I, I think for me it was like the uh, the whole spot that people are talking about, or the whole sequence people are talking about, where like you know the wheelbarrow, or sorry, the B driver. The reverse B driver into into the wheelbarrow German and then uh, Osprey flips over to his feet or actually like gets dropped with the uh, wheelbarrow and then gets to his feet and then hits the hidden blade and then Takeshi kicks it one like bro I knew it was gonna be a kick out I was like he's kicking and then he kicked it one off. I was like oh my fucking god they're on the, they're going crazy I uh. I, I love the match. I love the match. Um, and that was, I think that was the point where I was like, yep, five stars. Um, and then, you know, they probably went another three, four, five minutes after that. But yeah, it was an incredible match. And um, yeah. Uh, the Bruv is here. This is uh, this is what this company has to offer for Will Ospreay here. Um, that term you know, brain buster. Yeah, that was crazy because obviously he wasn't trying to do, he was trying to spike him. He wasn't trying to, you know, drop him back in, basically, in, yeah. in, 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 you know, uh, rash him down his backside. But yeah, it was a, it's a great match. It's a great match. Uh, for me, it's a match of the year so far. And um, I'm itch- I love to see like what he has planned for the year. Like I saw, um, I've seen some people say like he needs to be the champion like by Wembley, and I'm just like, slow down, player. There's, I got a plan for you. You put him. My plan is, I envision it, how I envision it is, you have him in contention to try to get the belt for Wembley. He falls short via Callis screwing him out of whatever qualifier or whatever else to get the match. Then he has whatever match he has to finally beat up Callis or get, get his vengeance on Callis or whatever else. And then in front of the Wembley fans, he says, next year I will win this fucking title in front of y'all. And then you do it the next year. You can't just give him the belt six weeks in or six months in, but 
you build it over 18 months in that would be that a legendary be like thing. The story of the promotion, like <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. Like six, this is too soon. Like you, you build it over a whole year or whatever else, where he only fails, and by failing, he got screwed or whatever else. Yeah, you set him on that path, and that gives him time to you know actually build roots with like and build rivals amongst like the the, the company as opposed to, like he's just a champion immediately, and then you got to figure it out after that. Like nah. That's way too fast, way too soon. Let people fall in love with this guy that haven't already like. Yeah, because there's know, plenty. There's plenty they're of people they're that are like, kind of like, yo, what, what you know that that are not feeling like you know your your newer fans that that are really invested in in the you know guys that are already here and um, it's like all right, like James said, give them a reason too. Like, I, but I'm just here to let y'all know when y'all hear this music. <laughs> It's no fucking joke. Like, like, it's some like is real shit about to happen when he comes out. And it's been like this for a lot of years at this point. I, I um, mean this guy has been the best wrestler in the world for a long time. I feel like if you ever compared Seth Rollins to him, you should jump off a fucking bridge. Um Don't tell Seth to do that. Don't <laughs> Seth. That's mean. How about it now? And like just he's somebody that is so special. Like he walks in and he changes your promotion. And my God, New Japan Pro Wrestling didn't see fit to push him at the top level, right? To push him as the fucking man when obviously they could have. <laughs> I don't think Tony Khan's gonna make that mistake. Yeah. Like I mean if not for the weirdness around New Japan, like it, it wouldn't have been a mistake made because, like, you tell me, like, you do you what what has been more fun? These Naito matches versus Sonata, or these Naito matches versus Orvis Osprey the last two years? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Yeah, bro. Like he's um he's something else. He's sensational. <laughs> Got a match with Fletcher coming up Wednesday, and that's his guy. So what do you right. think is about to happen? Like you can unleash him on the rest of the roster. He should probably win the Continental Classic this year. Um I mean either him or Okada. Yeah. Like there's there's so many cool cool things you can do with him. Um and, and he can do it all. He can brawl. He can fly. He can he can wrestle technically if you want. Um you could probably put him in a, a tag. You could put him in a trios or whatever. I mean when, we've seen that. You know, he you was in the he, he had two of the best matches in the uh, in the trios uh, tournament uh, two years ago. Yeah, it's like yeah, man. Like these, like this is like the crowd took him like a superstar. I have no worry about this guy. Uh, he's calling himself like, or excuse me, he's like coming off completely likable in a lot of his stuff uh, right. with, with the scrums and his interviews, and he he's, seems happy. He seems and, genuinely happy, and he's got like a he's got a heat magnet to work off of, like with the split from Callus or whatever. Right, right. This is a no brainer. Kanosuke Takeshita. Can I say a couple words about this gentleman? Yeah, please do. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it like um, in this guy the first time I ever wrestled him. Um, Wait, you wrestled Takeshita? Saw him wrestle. Sorry, I was, but I say how many how, how many stars you get out of here? So I, think you, can, I think you get three and a half look, out of you. Takeshi could get about three with me, you know. <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy, you know. Um, you know, you know, secret matches, you know, been, been right. having already, you know, closed closed circuit television, you know, all the cameras off, you know, turn them off. But um, nah. You went to that DDT seminar with him and Chris Brooks. Yeah, <laughs> you know I was I was making super flights to Japan. You know, <laughs> but um, nah. I, first time I ever saw this guy wrestle, I knew he was special, and he, he, these matches, Kenny Omega on pay per view, Osprey. This guy's also a future champion if they want to, you know, go that direction with him. Yeah. Um he's fucking sensational, man. Like when it when it comes to like being vertical, like he can get off his feet, he 
can beat you down. He's he's got some Claudio in him, but he's also right. got it's like all right. If I was to put like Brock Lesnar, Claudio, Okada, in like I don't know some someone that can jump like <laughs> like like a like a young Brock Lesnar like. If I mm-hmm. put them all in a fucking blender, like, it would be Kenosuke Kestra. Like, mm-hmm. this guy's He's out of here, bro. He's out of here. There's, um... He's just for his size and his height. He's just so explosive. I think that's the main thing about it is, like, it's not even necessarily about the moves he does that are so special. Is that he does them with a crispness and a fast, like... And they're fast and they're smooth, and like you just watch him and Osprey here, and you're just like, regardless of how good certain matches are, you can see the holes in people's games as far as you know, or weaknesses at certain points, right? Regardless if it's a great match or not, you can see holes in certain people's games. Mm. Like these people, I'm watching them wrestle. I'm like. These people are like they everything they they do in the ring is perfect. There was a botch in this match as far as you know him getting skinned, uh, get, you know on that on what's supposed to be a spike on uh, a spike brain buster on the uh, top turnbuckle. Mm-hmm. They just rolled in the next thing, but like there's just a smoothness to them that's just like they're elite. I'm not I, par, par, pardon the pun, but like they're elite. Like when you watch Kenny Omega, you will watch Kota Ibushi or or you know Okada. You just see like the movement. The fluidity, the crispness, like, is this there at a level that, like, you don't see that often? And um, you see to see those kind of gifted uh, talents in the ring together, and they do their thing for, I don't know, 21 minutes, 22 minutes, however long it was. It's a blast to watch. And then you throw in, you know, the crazy shit that they were doing as far as, you know, counter each other or fighting through uh, big moves or whatever else. It was an awesome match. Awesome match. And, um, you know, can't wait to see them do it again. Can't wait to see him do it again. Takeshita, like, I said this. This might have been, like, as he first got his run at the beginning of uh, 2022. Um, you know, he's having a match with with, with, uh, with Kingston or with uh, Moxley or with uh, Paige. And I was like, hey, man, like, if they invest in this guy they, and they actually have a plan for him, like, he could be, like, their Muda, like, or their Nakamura, where it's like, we have this guy. He's in like he will be synonymous with this company, based off the run here, and um, whatever happens for him later in his career, or whatever. Like people will remember him five, ten, fifteen, twenty years from now, in his run in this American company, and it can be special. So, like this is another part of that. So, um, you know, I'm hoping for all this with him. I mean, uh, this is the future. This is the future. Like we were always talking about, like you know. Post Danielson and Jericho and Moxley and Omega, like what is AEW gonna look like as far as a main event scene? And it's like, you know, we already had a, one answer for sure. And Adam Page, MJF, when his head's on right, is the answer can be an answer. But like with Takeshi and Osprey and Okada come in, like that's those are the answers. And like it's gonna be a fucking blast these next four or five years unless something bad happens or something unfor- unforeseen or something uncalled for happens. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, man. <laughs> and they've, they've oh, like... I'm sorry. And Swerve Strickland. Jesus Christ. This <laughs> fucking company's loaded. Yeah. You know, the, the most over-wrestler of 2023. Yeah. Right. Him. You know. I, I forgot about that guy. The future, a guy that's most likely going to be the next champion. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Incredible. Incredible match. Can't recommend it enough. 22 minutes. Just like, man. Just... <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Whoever like whoever just was like, yeah, man, let's put Osprey, Osprey and Takeshi together. Because they were supposed to wrestle last year at Supercard of Honor, but Will was hurt. So he couldn't uh, do it. Okay. Right? But blessing in disguise. We didn't need to waste that on Supercard of Honor last year. Right here. Revolution 2024. Um, yeah, man. AW World Championship.